the legendary leaf is real, but it's not spawned yet. Meaning, Iruma will do the impossible yet again. The riddle that the different monsters told us was kind of, there's a lot of steps involved. I forget exactly what's happening. The seed at the beginning, the Voss at the ending, something about the mother-in-law, the divorced wife, a bunch of steps. I, I, I don't fucking know. But I do know that somehow the legendary leaf will be spawned. And maybe even just how Amity predicted, Iruma will offer a bouquet of flowers with the legendary leaf to Amity. And then everyone gets to see it. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? I think that it'd be even more funnier if a joke character like Aiko or someone else were to find that leaf, though. What happened with Jazz and Alucard, though? Did they really disqualify themselves for a bowl of ramen? I find that hard to believe unless they're trying to end this, you know, their competition early so they can go back to Furu Furu and win the game toss, uh, the game of guessing the coin game because they want to be free from their fucking, their child labor and their sweatshop of that club, right? I don't know what's going on with them. I'm sure they'll explain. Let's begin today's episode. I always wondered, Alucard, that's not a mask. Like, He's really just a lion thing, right? Yeah, he is. Yeah, what are you guys doing here? But you're supposed to... Maybe they were so hungry that they disqualify themselves. You had to forfeit. Why'd you have to forfeit? Yeah, I'm, that's what everybody's wondering. Did this big bro show up then? Wait, what was that? No, no, there is some kind of effect. Why are you here? Is that actually him though? Or is someone projecting like a hallucination image? Why would his big bro be involved right now? Someone's power to create things that people are just scared of? Can Alakar even see them? Who did this? Whose effect is this? Mm, of any of the people we've seen so far, who could do this? I have no clue. It's gotta be a character we have never met yet, or... There was that Orobas guy, but that's... He's the one that got ranked 2 all the time. Watered down version of him. <laughs> ah, he does have such that inferiority complex, so... Because his big bro is supposed to be better. What is... Oh, he blocked it. Ooh, damn. Oh, it was Orubas! Damn. God, he's huge. <laughs> Yo, what were those? Yo, he's got an S line. You see his body there? <laughs> Yo! This dude is jacked! So his magic is able to. Bloodlet ability trauma! <laughs> Just. Just hallucination of trauma. Okay, uh, that's pretty. That's pretty strong. It's extremely strong. What a twisted magic power! Oh, right. Damn, just a simple kick like that was enough to. And they just say we're not allowed in fighting between the two. Alucard is also DQ'd. Oh, there's another person beside. That's the unfortunate thing. I really want you know. Them to fight amongst each other, <laughs> but it's not that kind of you know arc. It's not that kind of anime. Well, there there are times when we do actually fight. Walter Parkins hit him, for example. But I I just want this to be like you know shooting exams for motherfuckers just killing each other. <laughs> what is Iruma traumatic about? But Iruma's traumatic about his events back on Earth with the shitty parents making him do everything. But I feel like. He's overcame that trauma to an extent with this like new coping mechanism of survivorship. So uh, maybe Iruma will be able to counter him. But why? So that you have one half and I have one half. The past splits up. So uh, maybe this sounds kind of dumb, but maybe this is genius. It does simplify it a bit much, and what if, you know, one half of the path, the riddle, the lyrics is really designated for one each path? That would be kind of... Maybe, maybe this is a 9000 IQ play right now, but... Jeez, he's thinking outside the box. About this opening up. <laughs> and we gotta go into the belly. So, Iruma will get to see the beginnings, and Lead will get the Voss of endings. Each side is getting one part of the two hole that makes the legendary leaf. <laughs> so, <laughs> what is that little Iruma doll? Ali! He came out at last. 
Ali, can you explain what's going on? Yes. Will he really change forms or become even more intelligent? That was the theory from before. Then it's okay. We got... We got you. We got our bow. Also, he can just dodge everything. That's right! So Ali's stockpile mana did get drained at Clara's realm. But he was upset that... Wait, that's Amiri Bachiko and Ali. But he was upset that we, we sucked up so much energy during the end of the Walter Park arc. Oh, that's the smelly guy. Yeah, he was one of the people that was highlighted in the beginning of the festival. He got stuck. So he was trying to... Is that his bloodline ability? Just smelling like shit? He was a notified character in the beginning. Nephila. Kimmel rank. Rank 3. That's pretty good. But he is in here, meaning he also knew how to get to the legendary elite. Where's his, where's his intel coming from? I'm sure everyone tries to avoid him because he smells bad. But maybe Iruma will be the one person that acknowledges and embraces him. And then we become good friends? Maybe a friendship can happen. Yeah, see, he's helping him. Also, should Ali really be out like this? Should he be able to see Ali? Isn't Ali like a secret, secret character that not a lot of people are supposed to know about? Maybe... Maybe we'll become really good friends. Oh, see? Say thank you! Aww. But is that a mask and a hood, or is that their actual face? I can't tell. And why do you smell like poop? It's kind of cute, though, if you look at it. It's very cute. Is this where the seed of beginnings is? Also, only one person can get the leaf. This is competition still. But we're friends? Oh, he's blushing! The seed. Yeah. But... This is competition though, who's gonna have it, you know? Okay, but there's only one. So who's gonna take it? Oh, behind you! Huh? That kinda looked like Sabro's eye for a second. Who's there? It's a trap. Cool. This is pretty cliche, yeah. Usually there's like a treasure thing and a beat thing. Oh! That's a huge hand! What are you... He grabbed them and then dodged together. Whose hand is this? Yeah, we can dodge anything. What oh, some big wings. This guy's huge. Kinda looks like a sphinx. Is he gonna tell us like a kind of Toto? Are you gonna tell us a riddle and You're a genie? Now you can't leave until you solve my riddles. Two ways to obtain the seed. Defeat him? Or, no, that's not the path we've taken. Nope, that's not Inuma. Or, answer my riddles? Hmm. It's gonna be some ridiculous thing. What is it? Play with me? <laughs> tell me something interesting. <laughs> now, tell him some shit from Earth, and he'll be like, what? That's crazy. Yeah, something crazy. Something even the most basic thing from Earth will just uh, shock him. Tell him the concept of, uh, shoujo mangas. No, that would only work for Amity. Break maybe bread, but what kind of bread? Wait, is he gonna give him a riddle? <laughs> yeah, that's not you. <laughs> I would expect a genie to ask him riddles. Oh, maybe they'll clutch up. Now Fla's gonna clutch? But you can't speak. All you say is you, you. <laughs> All Nafla can do is make really cute noises. But this is bad. Because if Nafla impresses him, then Nafla is the one worthy to get the seed. I don't know, but I feel like Nafla is telling a joke. I didn't understand a single point. <laughs> Nafla is just... Nafla is dying at his own joke. Think beyond the nether world. Earth, 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 Earth. That's right, Shoujo Manga! But that worked in Amity, will it work on him? Mm. Really, if first love memory is really gonna clutch right now. Oh. Yeah, maybe there's 500 volumes of it. Okay, he's gonna tell him the entire plot? Oh no! I'm late for school, where's the toast in your mouth? 16 years old, parentheses. And then bump into the love interest. Love that first bump. Oh, that plot! Now, is Toto being compelled by this? He's like... Oh my god! <laughs> he 
looks just like Amity right now. The face. Oh no, my heart's been so moved. The power of shoujo manga prevails yet again. There's a boxing arc. What? I have no idea what's going on, but I can kind of imagine what's going on right now. And Toto's. He's been moved. Toto's been moved. Don't give up. As long as he has hope. Don't give up. No. I have no idea what's going on, but it's so epic. Toto's so immersed in the story. <laughs> He's so in. Man, now, if only. I wonder how many volumes we covered. Probably not even a dent in the overall length of the entire story. Kakiruri and the sports. Oh. <laughs> There's an evil org after Kakiru, I didn't know. Meaning, we're worthy of it, right? This shoujo manga has become so clutch. So clutch. Which, which scene was it? Yeah, we can tell. Now give us the seed, please. Nafula did help, but it was mostly Iruma that was doing it. And Toto's saying it's for Iruma, so... I guess it's for us. Nafula will be okay with this? Oh, Iruma wins the Harvest Festival. Yeah, I think that's pretty much solidified at this point. Unless there's a plot twist. And somehow someone else gets the legendary leaf by stealing it. Is that allowed? Look at him blush in. This genie is so cute. <laughs> the latest volume. Yeah, there's like 500 plus volumes, isn't there? <laughs> no! Until next time. Oh, but I guess he'll never find out. Unless, wait, maybe we can come and visit him and then, you know, give him the comeback. <laughs> Your phone. Oh, you have a phone? Toto can uh, join in on Iruma and Amiri's little shoujo manga sessions, I guess. Wow, we made a friend with the genie. We got a genie's phone number. This is insane. That's the episode. We got one half of the legendary leap. The seed of beginnings has been secured. How? Through shoujo manga. Shoujo manga has become so clutch in this anime. Not with just Amity, but now with the genie too. I'm just still wondering how Nafla will be okay with this. Because there's only one seed. And it's like, I, I, it's going to be Iruma or, you know, you. But maybe it's just a friend. And then Nafla will be like, you know what? It's okay. And he won't actually say that because they can't really speak. Lead still has his thing to do to get the Voss vending. I'm sure that's going to be the next episode. And that's pretty much it. I can't believe we got the genie's phone number added to it. It's just gonna, what is he going to do? Dial in during Amity and Iruma's like, um, date sessions? I don't think Amity would really like that, but who knows. But if you stick around this song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and plays to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube dog and push that my small channel to recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. And until next time, guys, take care.